Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Last week we did a number of articles that were coming out of the Hollywood gossip from a family source related to the Duggars, someone who claimed to have worked with them in the past. Now, <clears throat> there was information that came out about Jana Duggar from the source that claimed that Jana was not moved out or still living in her parents' home and not married because of her affection for her best friend, Laura. They claim that due to the religious beliefs of the family, she has was stuck in an impossible situation of either having to remain single forever or come out and lose everything. Now, these were the opinions and the speculation of a family source. So with that, you can take it with a grain of salt. But one thing that we do know is that Jana is still living in the home that she grew up in and has not moved out and has not attempted to move out. And she just turned 30 years old. Now, living at home with your parents is, you know, for a lot of people, isn't that strange. But as you start approaching your late 20s and 30s, most people have gone out and sort of freed themselves and left the nest. Well, Jim Bob Duggar has this belief that unless a woman is married, they cannot leave the house. That's right. So the girls are actually not allowed to move out unless they're married. They're not allowed to uh, do a whole lot of stuff unless they're married. One stipulation that had been in place for a very long time was that there would be no social media for any of the children, especially the girls that were not married. However, Jana, after a several years of a lot of pushback from a lot of different places on social media, as well as from fans, began having her own social media. So she was given the opportunity to have her own Instagram account along with, I believe, Facebook. So Jana has been able to amass a following on her Instagram. And then for all intents and purposes, she appears to be a very sweet and loving young woman. She is do devoted and very dedicated to her family. On episodes of Counting On, it's also very clear that she is very much involved with her younger siblings and is a sort of mother figure to her siblings. One thing that's always been in question is, where does Jana live? Like, does she live on the property or does she live in the house? Well, over the past several months, Jana has been sort of expanding her wings and starting to do more influencer ads. One means of making money is to be able to do ads like this one, which she did for Vanity Planet. But... Incidentally, during this ad, she accidentally sort of gave a tour of a makeshift apartment that she seems to have at the Duggar home. Now it's clear, it seems as though this is inside the Duggar house just because of the peaks. Because if you notice, the Duggar house has all those like um, sort of eaves that come out of their house with the windows and they have the slanted like sloped ceiling sort of half half stories and half story peaks. Well, this seems as though what she's done is there must be a very large room. And as you've known, if you've watched the show, um, a lot of the kids share very large rooms together. Um, there, there's The girls were in one room, the boys were in another room. At times they moved kids into different rooms, but there's more than a couple rooms in this house because this house that they own, that's um, the big house is what a lot of the people on the Reddit and the, you know, the Duggar fan sites call it, has 7,000 square feet. So here is what she showed you. And I, I, I was like, whoa, she's kind of turned this into a apartment. And it doesn't look like someone that's in any hurry to leave their parents' house at this time. So as you see, she's got like a couch set up and a nightstand or in a like there appears to be like some tables. She's got some plants. She's got some drapes on the walls to make it really look sweet and cozy. As she walks out, you notice that there's that lower half wall I was talking you, to you about. And she appears to have things set up back there for crafting. And then she loves to play the piano and is a very talented like pian pianist. So she has her piano set up in her bedroom. And she's also posted videos and photos of her 
uh, on playing the piano. As she continues to move, you'll see that she's got flowers and then her bed is actually right behind, her bed is right behind the piano. She walks out the door into a bathroom. And then as she's putting on this and doing this, you can see that the bathroom is right outside of her bedroom. So it could be an attached bathroom. It appears as though it's an attached bathroom to her bedroom. So it seems as though she has a suite. She's essentially got her own sort of suite upstairs where she has the freedom to be 30 years old and living with her parents. Um, for some people, this would be enough because it sort of seems to be like a makeshift apartment at her parents' house, and it may be giving her some a level of independence, but at the same token, she's also still living under her parents' roof. Some of the things that are concerning only from an outsider's point of view is that Jim, Bob, and Michelle were recently in an, doing an interview where they stated that it was a Q&A for the Institute of Basic Life Principles. It was part of their family conference and it was posted to the Institute of Basic Life Principles YouTube page. During a Q&A, which is about 50 minutes long on their Monday night session of this specific conference, Jessa asked them a number of different questions and one, was, one of those was related to their social media rules. Michelle made the comment that she and her husband install a product called Covenant Eyes on their children's so like phones. And so they said she said that her older kids had made the decision to wait to get phones until they were much older and then had asked their parents to place um protections on their phones so that they could be so they could stay on track and not see things that they don't want to see. Michelle then admitted that she was able to through this app actually get detailed reports about all the different things that her children are looking at and viewing online and then she also admitted that she and Jim will sit down with them and talk with them about the different things that they're looking at online. Another source then followed up with that when they spoke about Jana and they talked to the Hollywood gossip again take this with a grain of salt but they said that Jim Bob has some sort of app where he can monitor his kids he can read their text messages and emails who knows if that's true but Michelle basically gave the farm away because the app Covenant Eyes it allows the individual that downloads the program onto their onto their product to actually place a um, somebody that will actually hold you accountable accountable so like your accountability partner and so each day you and your accountability partner get a report from Covenant Eyes which does a scan of your phone and it shows all the different things that you've looked at whether good or bad and then they send you the report and tells you what you've seen what you've looked at what you're at risk for so she is basically saying, I get reports for all of the kids. I know what they're looking at. I know what they're reading. This app is telling me it. But the source for uh, the Hollywood gossip said he's also getting into their text messages and emails. I don't know if that's true, but that's what the source said. Either way, we know that Jana is 30 years old. She lives in a patriarchal cult where the, hus where the husbands are the ones that make all of the rules, where women are taught to have as many children as possible, where birth control is not um, allowed, where women are typically not to have jobs outside of the home, where women are not to have typically education beyond a high school diploma, the children are homeschooled, and the kids are kept away from a lot of the stuff that's going on in the wider world. So she is still at 30, living a very sheltered life, um, not exposed to the things that a normal 30 year old would, do, would be having the experience of going out and doing things. In fact, when Jana travels, she went on a trip to visit her friend Laura for a, uh, it was like a home and garden show in Las Vegas in February, and her father chaperoned. So imagine going on a girl's weekend with your friend to go see a bunch of like home and garden stuff because Jana is an extremely talented designer. She is very into like building and restoring and gardening. She could do lifestyle blogging and people would eat it up because Jana is so talented. But her dad accompanies her as if, as if though she's 
incapable of actually making good choices after all of the years of his, you know, teaching and training. So what are your thoughts? Do you think that she's so comfortable in where she's at that she doesn't need to move out? Do you think that this is because she wants to stay there or do you think it's that she can't stay there? Again, these are my um, opinions of what I think about Jana and I think it's that she can't stay, there. she can't leave if she wanted to or that she's so conditioned and brainwashed that she doesn't think she has an option. And I would love to know what your comments are and what your thoughts are below. All right, you guys, I'll be back later with more. Bye.